Um, these are more detailed objectives. Um, one is to identify and develop the governance principles, as, as I said. Um, another objective, and it's very important, is to map the current synergies in existing relevant ongoing projects. We want to avoid overlaps. We don't want to re reinvent the wheel. We want to reuse everything possible that we can reuse within Europe. There's a number of IMI projects, other projects. Some of those have been developed for drugs, not for vaccines. And of course, here, uh, vaccines have some, some specificities, but as much as possible, we want to um, collaborate with all existing projects. Um, the next objective is to deliver the proof of concept studies. And the final objective is to deliver this action plan for this long-term expandability and sustainability um, to allow transition to production. Uh, it is IMI, so it is pre-competitive or collaborative, I think it's a better word, as um, uh, Michel Goldman said this morning. Uh, why is it pre-competitive or collaborative? Because the current needs and challenges are similar across all vaccine manufacturers. I think they are also similar for every other stakeholder, the regulatory, the public health institute, um, and the others. And the governance and tools will be similarly useful to all. The suggested architecture of the project, these are the work packages, and you will see that they all, they all link together. The first one, and um, this is not by chance that this is number one, because uh, it's number one because it's also the most important, probably, is to develop this governance and code of conduct for public-private partnership for the studies of benefit of vaccines. The second work package will deal with mapping um, other projects where we could develop synergies. And again, as I said, this is critical for this project. Work package three will deal with the data sources, so identifying, finding the data sources that are needed for this rapid and integrated benefit risk analysis, both for the proof of concept studies and for the long term production phase. Work package four, um, this is more on the ana analytical methods, uh, identification or, and or development of methods for this integrated analysis of burden of disease, vaccine coverage, vaccine safety, effectiveness, how to um, put all these data together to have the better assessment of the overall benefit risk. Work package five will be the proof of concept studies. These proof of concept studies will use the data sources in the defined if work package three. They will use the governance or test the governance uh, defined in work package one. They will test some of the methods developed in work package three. And actually they, would they will feed back on the, all these work packages about the remaining challenges or remaining gaps and progress. And of course, there is a then a last um, <coughs> work package for the overall project management. What the FPA members will contribute is their expertise in vaccines. Um, again, as I said, they are similar projects for drugs, but here we really focus on vaccines, and vaccines have a lot of specificities compared to drugs. Uh, FPA members will contribute this experience in the challenges to implement studies as defined in their risk management plans. And they will contribute research capacity in disease epidemiology, pharmacopoeia, pharmacovigilance. What's it for you? Um, well, it's the main thing is a unique opportunity for all stakeholders to sit around the table. I think that's the key message for that project. It will be an exciting and challenging project, and there is a clear long-term vision, which in the end will be something useful for the uh, overall public health in, in Europe. The key deliverables, um, I will not go through all the details, but they should be periodical reviews of um, the needs, the remaining needs, gaps, resources, um, tools, methods, to achieve this integrated post-approval monitoring of vaccine benefit risk. Uh, proof of concept will be key deliverables. And as I said, these proof of concept studies should assess the data sources, the analytical methods, and the governance rules. Um, 
Another key deliverable would be a, that this project will be a recognized central forum to build trust between all the main stakeholders and facilitate timely agreement on this governance for the long-term production phase. Um, guidance, as I said, for best practices and governance will be key deliverables. And in the end, this action plan um, for the sustainability of the production phase. That's it. Uh, and Okay. With this, I want to ask the audience whether there are any questions.